I think you just got to remember why you started. Um, you got to go back to, to that why. Um, one of my favorite lines ever, uh, I think it says, uh, if your why is big enough, your excuses won't be. And, right. and I think that that's so important. You gotta figure out what your why is. So as you go through this process of self-awareness, you're figuring out who you are, um, you start figuring out what you want. Like, what, what's your North Star? Like, what, what do you ultimately want to do with your life? What's success look like for you? Uh, and you need to get clear on it. You need to get detailed on it. If I think about having intent, I think about having a reason. And having a reason comes from knowing why. Mm -hmm. And so it really, that's, you know, that's where for me it starts is what's the why behind me doing something. So the why behind the action, the why behind doing something on purpose. And another aspect of intent is just not allowing life to happen to you, yeah. but you attacking life and taking ownership and understanding that you're exactly where you are right now. For those watching, you're exactly yeah. where you are right this second, good, bad, or indifferent. And it's all on you. But if you have a big enough why, then you don't have to worry about it because you can always focus back on your why. When things start getting tough, when obstacles arise, which they will, they always do, you can think back to your why and then it pushes you through. It helps you to persevere. It helps you push through those tough times. And that's something that has to be, and this is something that's not talked about a lot. It's something that has to be revisited and recalibrated uh, regularly. Um, because why's change, right? Like, you know, your why when you're 22 becomes different when you're 32 and certainly different when you're 52. Um, but a right. lot of people only take the time to sit down and write these things out, which is key. Uh, but they only take the time to sit down and write these things out when they're first getting started with a business or with a career or whatever that may be. And as time goes on, uh, that, that fades and maybe it's a different why. And you could be hanging on to this why from when you were younger uh, that may not really have anything to do with your passion right now or, or your purpose uh, right now. So the, the best thing that I, I would tell you is just to take some time for yourself and to just sit down and, and just write out what's important. What is your why? And it changes it used to change more often than it's changing right now. Right now, I'm pretty locked tight on my why as far as what I want to do, and that's and that's a key laser focus on helping other people become successful. Um, but I think that's because I've gotten to a certain level of comfort in where I am with my business now. Because before, selfishly, I, I had to get myself in that place before I could worry about anybody else being successful. Mm -hmm. I had to take care of myself through personal responsibility. But now my, my focus is on how many other people that I can create a scenario and an environment and a platform for them to experience the same thing that I've experienced over the past few years. And just knowing in the back of my mind that by doing that, I will be successful. But having a genuine focus on that individual person, those individual people, and creating that change in their lives. Like that, that to me is what got me up at 4.30 this morning on a Sunday go to my office um, was to work on that.